Hi, this is Eugene Blanchard of TelecomWorld101.com. Uh, this is part four of the TCPIP and the OSI model series. Uh, this is the summary version. You can think of it as a, the fast track version. So let's do a, a summary here. OSI model has seven layers. We always present it in this way. Layer seven at the top, layer one at the bottom. Uh, layer seven is the application. Layer six is a presentation. Layer five is a session. Four is transport. Three is network. One, two is data link. One is a physical. Uh, please do not take salami pizza away. It's a good way to remember this when you first start out. Uh, TCP IP versus OSI model. OSI model doesn't really exist. It's just a guide that we use to understand protocols like TCP IP or network protocols. Uh, network TCP IP has four layers, application layer, transport layer, internet layer, and network access, and it maps to the OSI model in this manner. Uh, PDU summary application layer has data. Transport layer has segments used for TCP or datagrams used for user datagram protocol. Internet layer has packets. Uh, network access layer has frames for the data link layer and bits for the um, physical layer. Addressing summary application layer has data, has no addressing per se. Maybe have a file name or something like that. Maybe that, that would be the addressing. Um, Probably a good thing to say it's the file name. Transport layer has segments, it uses ports, HTTP port 80 for HTTP, a port 53 for DNS, port 23 for Telnet as example. Internet layer has packets, uses IP addresses 192.168.100.254. Network access layer has frames, uses physical addresses like this example 00.12.f4.ab.0c.82 using hexadecimal and 48 bits. Device summary application layer has application layer gateway, ALGs, examines data, makes decisions based on the contents of the data. A transport layer has firewalls, it makes decisions based on the port numbers. Uh, internet network layer has routers and layer 3 switches, they make decisions based on IP addresses. Data link layer has bridges and switches and they make decisions based on the physical address or MAC address. Uh, physical layer is repeaters, transceivers and hubs. They don't make any decisions, they just forward everything, all the bits, straight out the door, right? So this has been the TCPIP and the OSI model uh, video done by TelecomWorld101.com. Uh, I'm Eugene Blanchard. I hope that this uh, information has been helpful, and uh, uh, I hope to make more of these. Thank you very much.